lap is all out. So let's go. A few things to address real quick before we go to the course. Um, as you can tell, um, I've got a new team. Uh, I've signed on with Rotten Inverter, which is awesome. Uh, I got two teammates right behind me in Matt and Sam. Uh, another Sam showed up and Berman showed up as well. So we, we had a stack squad to come out and just have some fun. Um, this is day two of racing of the E-Triple-C race out in Bucknell. Uh, the one, two, three road race was just, it was absurd. Um, I pulled out, it, it was, it was, yeah. We don't need to get into that. that, that didn't happen. That wasn't a thing. Okay, it did happen. But, um, yeah, so we're in a one, two, three where um, I definitely feel like I am outgunned. And it, this is just early season fitness at this point. We're out in Lewisburg, yay, and it's the 2nd of April, so you can see some people with some, long, uh, some leggings, some long sleeves, and uh, just trying to stay warm. And as you can see, there's, there's not really too many technical turns. There's this weird little off-camber downhill sort of turn. Like, you don't need to stop pedaling, and it, it, it carries your speed pretty good. Um, but it's that, that one turn right after this, this finish line here that's... Um, a little disastrous. Um, greater than a 90 degree turn, just, uh, yeah, I didn't like it. And you're gonna see, we're gonna go from, I think, what, 30 miles an hour down to 10? Okay, I lied. The wheel went down to about 18. I know I was complaining a little bit earlier about some of the video uh, content issues I've been having and some of the problems that come with that. Um, a little bit of that came to uh, a little bit of hardware issues. So if, if the data doesn't seem to be syncing up appropriately, it's I had to do some fun stuff with the video. Um, but I've, I've solved the problem with my GoPro Hero 9. Grab your camera, open your garbage, and place it directly there. And that's it. That's it. That's all you need to do. Listen, I know that's not very nice, but the GoPro Hero 9 Black did perform like trash, so I put it in the trash. That's all I got. I, I just need to take a second here to celebrate that I actually got three hot dogs for once. That's a big achievement. I hope everybody measures their achievements in a number of hot dogs they earn. I'm pretty happy with these numbers though, to be honest with you. Averaging about 297 here, uh, maxing out at just over a grand. It, these are these are some hitters. These were a one, two, three race and some collegiate kids, so um, I'm really stoked about this. Sauce letting me know though that my performance still looks like a cat three. Um, but like again, like maxing my heart rate out at 180 and averaging 160 this early in the season. I'm not upset about this. I'm I'm, I'm okay with it. Now that I'm done talking about how great I feel about my numbers, uh, let's get uh, let's get into the course. Not your typical four corner crit, but technically four corners, and the most noticeable one coming right up. Oh boy, all sorts of squeals. Uh, how do I try for that manhole cover? It, it, it bumped you a little bit, and it just seemed slick enough to. You, you just. It, it was something you wanted to avoid, at least I was trying to. Um, then we make this immediate left hand bend here, and this is straight uphill. So we're looking at about 5%, and it looks like the average. And it's still kind of going up. A little left hander here. Uh, but the surface was perfectly smooth. Like we're on Bucknell's campus up in Lewisburg, and this is, this is pristine concrete. Um, and we're, what, eight laps in now, and seven laps in on the eighth lap, and just finally starting to settle down. Had to watch out for those grates because. You guys were taking up the entire road, and if you weren't paying attention, um, there was a little bit of space between one or two of those grates that just, uh, you don't want to get your wheel stuck in there. Um, now we're just going to take this gentle bend around this last corner, if you can call it that. Um, but we never really fully descend, right? We, we went up for that 5% kicker. Um, there's a little bit of a rise towards the finish, and then we're going to come back to this uh, scary left-handed turn.
If I am being honest, the race really was this hill. Um, just getting up here was a battle every time. Like you can see everybody is getting out of their saddle, making a big effort to get reconnected to the front here. Um, and I'm just drifting backwards. You can see the, the moto back there already. So um, I'm aware of that and it, it's a little bit frustrating from all the training I put in. So I know I want to move up and kind of make something happen here. It's, it's nice that it swells and lulls a little bit, but it, it's, it's not really a, a place I want to be, knowing that we're gonna have to make this descent, and we're gonna make that left-hander again, and we can't really take that more than three wide. We couldn't really see it until just now, but since we're coming around this last left-hander here, there was a group off the front trying to get some separation. Um, then I start recognizing number 64, that's Andrew Wolf from Cumberland Valley uh, Collective, and once I see him winding up, I start getting excited. Fortunately, this curve just kind of disappears for me for a little bit, and I shoot the gap. Alright, maybe I don't shoot it entirely, but I, I make it up there, um, I bring a couple riders with me, and we're, we're early through the turn for, uh, compared to the rest of the race. And I'm trying to avoid that, ooh, rogue cycling there, kind of takes a little skip with that back wheel and we're just hitting it up the hill you can see the guy in my back camera just crashing his bike just watching this again just feels like it goes up forever uh, once everybody starts soft pedaling I, I know that the swarm is going to come so I start thinking about it. When I see two more riders go, I start seeing good guys here on my right starting to wind it up. And that's a great wheel to be on. Wow, this guy's stupid strong. Look, it's all single file behind us. Looks like they're easing off, so we decided to pull through. Try to keep the pressure on. And honestly, I think that I was just terrified this far. I just want to be able to take this at a speed I was comfortable with. Right back into this kicker. They're still coming through that corner. Put in a pretty hard effort up the climb and try to keep the gas on to stretch everything out because it looked like the elastic was ready to snap so um, I take a pretty good hard pull here maybe a little bit longer than I should have and I start looking back I see that there's a gap um, so I, I flick my elbow here to try to get um, one of the other riders to pull through um, got Sam Smith in here from Bike Works super strong rider um, everybody here looks like they're respectable, so I think we have a chance to make something happen. But remember, we still have, what, 30 laps to go? Anything could happen. So back into our sketchy left-hander here. And... Whoa. Uh, give me a second here. Alright, so good guys pulls through. And we start single filing through this turn, and remember, there's our manhole cover. Rogue Racing goes right, Black Pants goes left. And I think it's just too far of a line, or maybe the tire pressure is too high, but he washes out. And then Black Pants here locks up his brakes and just boom. And uh, I just go land on a bunch of jammy. Um, fortunately, the bike was okay. I'm okay. I was able to finish the race, but uh, yeah, did not like that turn. Tactics. Don't fall off your bike, right? Ha ha. But you know what? It was an early season race and it's been really hard. Um, and we had a whole bunch of teammates that are just trying to start working together. Um, Matt and I, I think, had a really good job of trying to work with each other to try to stick together on some of those climbs. But over the course of the day, it just got worse and worse and harder and harder. And now I'm on the back after that crash. And um, 
here we go again. I, I have no confidence going to that turn. You can see I'm just grabbing a hold of the brake, surging up the hill as hard as I can. And anybody behind me, I, I was basically, I was basically on the bubble. Anybody behind me was gone. So, uh, tactics again, just straight up survival mode. Uh, at this point, I'm just watching riders get shed off the back. Bob, one of the strongest riders I know, just dropped off. And I'm just playing leapfrog at the back of this race now. Actually, I think that might be, uh, that might be Sam right there. Yeah, Sam's in there with me. We're on lap 25 of 41, and everyone is just, the race is shattered. I think we had 40 starters, and uh, we're down to this. Um, and the brake that took off ahead of us, right? So it's, uh, it was a wild day, it was windy, it was stupid hard, but uh, all I've done is basically leapfrog from rider dropping off, to rider dropping off, and I'm, I'm only rewarded with more chasing. So uh, yeah, it's, it's, it was a hard, it was a tough day of sledding. A couple riders working together better than others, uh, but yeah, this, this is basically the bulk of my day from here on out. And back by popular demand, our super sketchy first turn here, uh, right up into our kicker again. But one thing I want to call myself out on here that I need to be better at, um, I was a little worried about my tire pressure and I think I grabbed some brakes. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I gotta apologize to this rider in the green behind me because I think I just ended his race because I was nervous about my tire. And uh, that's, that's something I need to be better about this year. But um, yeah, stay with them. But I think I took 12th on this race, which is, which is really respectable for a first race like this, you know? Um, but had up the pack step field, I think he got seventh. Yeah, I got seventh, um, which is really impressive. Super strong rider from the uh, good guys. But yeah, I'll put the full race up on the channel a little bit. But before this camera dies, guys, I'll see you in the next one. And if there's anything you, uh, you want me to add to the channel or something you want me to mix up, just uh, leave a like and a, a comment on the channel. Thanks.